Hello Year 6, my name is Mr Davis, I'm Head of Religious Studies at Fulham Cross Academy and we're really looking forward to welcoming you to our school in a couple of months time. Now some of you might be thinking, or all of you I hope might be thinking, what am I going to be learning in Religious Studies for my first, first term? Well we're going to start off by considering what does it mean to be religious in London? We're going to have a look at how many people make up um, each part of the major six religions. So we're going to be using some of our math skills and we're going to explore some of the um, major religious landmarks by drawing them, by going on a virtual tour and understanding some of the elements within inside each of these buildings and how they help their religious people pray and focus on their God. After that unit we're going to have a look at one of the world's big religions. Now I'm not going to tell you what what that is at the moment but we're going to be having a look at who founded it, the holy book, where these people worship and where might they go for a religious journey. In terms of tips that I might have for you getting ready to enter our wonderful school I would say familiarise yourself and get some basic information about the six major religions. Now you can find those by going onto a site like BBC Bite Size typing in key stage three, that's year seven, eight and nine religion, and you will get a list of those religions. Now you can read about their symbols, what do these symbols mean, who founded the religion, what are the holy books called, uh, and places of worship. So that would be a really, really good start. One of the things that we um, do a lot of within lessons is really consider other people's points Point of view and we also like to express our own views and trying to give reasons for the beliefs that that we hold. Now a common question that we start asking ourselves as part of your year seven learning is why are people religious? Do they come from religious families? Is that one of the reasons? Why are people not religious? Do they not come from religious families? And just trying to understand why we hold certain beliefs is a really good starting point to get to know um, some of your own uh, views and some of the reasons uh, why you hold certain beliefs but also to understand the community in which you're going to be spending so much time and having so so much fun. Um, in terms of our extracurricular activities we'll hopefully depending on lockdown um, try to visit as many local religious places as, as we possibly can um, and I'll organise some treasure hunts for us to see if we can find, using my cryptic clues, some uh, relevant religious treasure boxes around our school. If you have any questions or your parents have any questions, please write them down and be ready to ask them when we first see you in a couple of months' time. Really looking forward to seeing you all. Thanks again. Bye-bye.